Hey guys, how's it going? Who can anyone here? I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I'm here to show you guys a quick how to install a mod onto a single player world in Ark. Um, there are a large variety of mods you can see I've been testing uh, with a few right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to get a new mod. It's going to load up my client. Oh, doesn't look like it's going to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new region for you. There we go. And then you're going to see this page pop up, community page. And so you're going to scroll down. You can see all the most popular mods right here. Uh, most popular one week. You can click on this and adjust it, obviously. Most popular today, one week, three months, six months, one year. So we'll just go to one year, even though the game hasn't been around that long. But uh, just for the sake of showing things, the most co common and popular one right now is the Apokello, Apoco, Apoco Islands. And it's uh, actually a really cool map. Instead of being one large island, it's just a bunch of little split up islands. So to go ahead and install that, you're just going to click on it. Let it load up a little bit. And you're going to scroll down and click subscribe. And then it, nothing's going to happen here. You're going to be sitting here like, what's going on? So when you go ahead and exit out of this, let's go ahead and take away this. Oh, there we go. And you can see it started downloading. It's a large mod, so for some of you it may take quite a long time, um, and it'll take quite a long time to load as well, uh, in addition to your normal loading time. But that's it. That's really all, all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and cut out here for a second, uh, let this thing download, and then I'll show you guys that it worked. So the map is just loaded up, and as you can see, there are a couple red flags right off the bat. Um, as you can see, the map is the same as the original island map, which may throw you off completely. But, um, unfortunately at this point in time, these mods, who are, uh, it's modders who are creating maps, uh, are unable to implement their own map system at this point in the game. So it's going to be normal for every map you're going to want to download. Um, I don't recall seeing this. Whoops. I don't recall seeing this on the uh, typical map. So I think that's new. So that's a, a good sign. And you can tell from this all in here, this camera angle is definitely different. You don't usually see this on the main map. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pick a random location to respawn. As you can see, this doesn't look like any other part of the map. If you've ever played, if you've played enough of the island to know, uh, you can tell it looks like a very, very different map. Anyways, I'm just gonna run around a little bit, see if I can find something that'll show you guys. This is not it, and I apologize for the lag. Um, I'm not on my best computer at the moment, but uh, yeah, there's no structures like this in the island that are just running all through the ground. Um. This is much more of a jungly type forest than I do recall seeing on most parts of the island. Let's see if I can find a hill real quick. No, it doesn't seem like I'm going to find a hill. But anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you'd like to see how to manually do it, uh, manually implement single player mods um, through going through the files rather than doing it through the um, Steam Workshop, please let me know and I'll go ahead and show you guys a video on that. Or if you would like some basic tutorials on the Steam, uh, de the Arc Dev Kit, uh, I can do that as well. I can't do too many complex things, but uh, I can do a good bit. Okay, here you can definitely tell. There's nothing on the island that looks even remotely like this. So this is definitely very different. There's no lake and or river this wide. So it's definitely very, very different. Actually, what I can do is I can go into fly mode real quick. Then go up, even though it takes, I swear, half an hour to start flying on this, this fly because it's so slow. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the tutorial as I rise up above this lake you will see I don't, I don't really see that many dinosaurs and that's actually been a common complaint complaint for this map the of the Apico Islands so I'm not too surprised on that it's a little upsetting it's a great amazingly well-made map you can see there's one two three three obelisks still well, I thought there may be a fourth I feel stupid now but <laughs> anyways that's that's pretty much it Hopefully they'll improve the dino spawn rates, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see uh, regarding ARC, and I'll see you guys next time.